Okay, we are back to Ascension, it's time to make a new build, especially to play some high mythics with it, and due to my schedule it's time for Fist Ring Wands. So what it does is, multi late crits are going to increase the nature damage that the target gets from our spells and abilities by 2% and we can stack this up to 10 times, so 20% more damage and multi late crits are going to restore 15 energy as well. So what you guys maybe don't know is that poison, and we're going to work with poison here, is nature damage. So basically we're going to increase our nature damage with this random enchant, we need abilities like Storm Strike mutilate poison slice and dice and some important one as well but you guys are going to see this in this video in the timeline you can skip to the section that you're interested in we're going to start always with the starter skills then we're going to do the draft while we're leveling at the end we're going to talk about the skills and much more so stay tuned and by the way if this is the second or third time you see my video it's time it's time to subscribe to my channel. Alright, for the starter skills we have Sinister Strike and if we draft Sinister Strike we are enabled to draft Slice and Dice as well at the starter. Then for gap closing we have Charge and Battle Shot. In my opinion Battle Shot really nice and really good in this build. Yeah, some of you might say, hey Mixer why are not going with Tame Beast? I kind of think and I hate to play with beasts and pets in PvE but it's just min-maxing. Like literally it's not mandatory but if you just want to min-max your build go with Tame Beast and Sinister Strike here and then and try your luck with slice and dice and the other skills okay let's check the skill cuts that i have for this build here some of you might love now you see multi-late guys okay okay i know i understand guys don't try this at home because multi-late is just for me i want this build guaranteed i don't want to draft no no multi-late okay so i have to prestige again and then i have to delay this video i don't want to do this so i have to be guaranteed here okay that's the reason why we're gonna with multi-late here then blade for because we're gonna play with the random enchant blade vortex for aoe situations then poison because we need poison for this build and then of course storm strike to increase the nature damage on 20 percent we're gonna spam storm strike on cd and we're gonna spam multilate that's all there is to it okay i changed some of my starter skills actually i changed only battle shot to healing touch i kind of want to get faster in queues that's the reason why we're gonna play and prestige as a healer all right we're gonna pop xp pot oh there we go 500 gold miners and there we go 550 gold miners what are your thoughts at the moment on ascension right now like the player pool kind of seems a little bit lower than usually i kind of feel like people are quitting but i maybe understand the reason why because the content and right everything is so low right now because we did everything and there is nothing more to do and especially if you want to continue and if you just repeat like pvp and dungeons everything like the same it's gonna get boring but i think that's the reason why a lot of mmos don't work for long term because people just want to have fun fast and have a lot of content and new content fast like every time if you're gonna log and you want to explore something different i kind of seems to understand this because i'm the same type of person i really want to just come online and have to explore something new but i kind of feel like a game like world of warcraft which is really really well known like you you guys are into this guys okay i kind of understand it because i'm the same type of person but having a lot of content at the same time and there is the first drop we got blessing of might holy moly okay that is a really nice thing instead of getting Battle shot. It's the same thing. We going with that one. Okay, returning the quests. Let's go. And there is the next draft. We got regrowth, frostbolt, and consecration. Like everything is so bad that we have to take regrowth just because better prestiging. Dude, this group feels like a pre-made. I don't know, but what is going on? Everyone plays fan of nice consecration, whatever. There we go. The next draft. Rock bite. Oh my god, I'm so stupid to not change my oh I didn't change my lucky cards, guys. Oh, that is really bad. We, we can take it because we have poison. So, Rock Biter really don't work with poison. <laughs> Too bad, but okay. It's sad that the tank really don't need me anymore. Like, I feel really useless. But I'm getting draft after draft. Are you... What? <laughs> Be honest with yourself now. How often are you getting lucky cards in a row? Please, don't be Rock Biter. That was actually the fastest group ever. Dude, let's see what drafts I have here. We got Mind Soof, we got Fire Blast, and we got Rupture. Okay, I really don't need anything on that. Then we go with Mind Soof here because it didn't enable any any other drafts. Then we have Repost, Cure Toxins, and Cone of Code. Really, I, I don't feel like... Like, getting Repost is not a good thing because one ability point, so we have to go and take Cure Toxin. Okay, that looks beautiful. To be honest, that looks Hellfire. We don't need Hellfire. Cleave. Okay, Cleave is really good for this build. And Blade Fury. Okay, we're going with Blade Fury. 
What's up with today's prestige, man? I feel like blasted. Today is the prestige is going good. We are on time for everything. Like, everything works so fine. Please, more of those group. You guys know that I'm playing solo, so I kind of have to rely on random. So I'm not joining any groups that doing Zul group runs or whatever those runs are called nowadays but we're going to do chill mode so basically we have to play with randoms which is absolutely fine but if the randoms are going to do pulls like that man that's poggers and the draft for today is cleave less a healing wave and consecration i kind of love cleave to take it for aoe if you're new to this engine you're wondering what build I'm playing, I'm basically playing no build, I'm just taking one healing touch and playing throughout the prestige run. But if you're wondering how you can skill like that and have no problems to heal a dungeon, check out my overflow build. Uh, I have, I've made a video about that as well, check it out on my YouTube channel or I'm gonna link it in the info box down below as well. That is a different version of bad, really. Aspect of the Viper Zeal of Justice Flame Show, come on man. And teleport Moongly backstab... Oh. God damn it, I would say just take backstab here. Ragefire is by far the best dungeon to get experience. Real talk. I realized I never did a bulwark tank showcase. I should do it like... I should do more tank builds and healing builds. Like usually you can find on my channel damage builds. Or literally damage, but most, most case scenario it's a melee build. I mean Ragefire is already a small dungeon, so... It might be a good idea to creep here until you get some more levels than only just to get the boss and then you finish that is actually a hard choice to be honest multi late okay that's a skill card sure we're gonna take this but berserker stance it's kind of really good because we rely here on crit on this build but let's just take multi late and the next poggers dungeon i thank god that i didn't draw wailing caverns for now okay that is actually really good the problem with wailing cavern is even if they got really good experience but i kind of think like you have to force yourself to play this complete dungeon 57 i think i'm gonna be level 6 by the end of this dungeon and then we're gonna try the feast ring once we're gonna hit outland because we got multi late we got storm strike so we can try it while we're doing the quest there all right we got the feast ring wound random enchant and then we have two daggers both 1.8 i would suggest you guys run a main hand with 1.4 speed and an offhand with 1.8 speed and then we have also deadly poison on the main hand and instant poison on the offhand so the, the rotation is also really simple. So we just press Storm Strike on cooldown. We're gonna build up combo points and press slice and dice, and then we just spam multilate. That's all there is to it. That's actually a smart guide here from Dark Vosi. General guideline: get us back if you are 80% happy with it. Farm hands of fate to complete the last 20%. If you are not 80% happy, prestige it and try again. That's really a smart tip here. I kind of feel that's really important to have a build that works for you out. If you play it, you have to get gear, you have to do hand to face, you have to farm marks of ascension. That all costs time and it's really, I kind of feel like ascension isn't really casual friendly anymore because you have to really put time into this one to get actually gear, to farm gear, to farm marks of ascension, to farm gold for that and so on. So probably, yeah, get a build where the gameplay fits to your playstyle and then you're happy. Okay, bone Dryer mutant. You are the first one to test it out, so we're gonna press Storm Strike and then just multilate. Fine, he just died. So the Feastering One stack is getting on him, not on us. So if you don't have a boss you fight with, you can't really stack up your Feastering Wands. We are, by the way, missing one and Venom skill to actually spend the combo points, and it's actually needed for this build as well, so yeah. Wow, deterrence, mind blast and damp magic. We don't really have usage for deterrence, so I kind of think I'm just gonna take something else. But uh, there is no really nice legendary for this build as well, I kind of think. Uh, maybe demonic leap could be nice for PvE and stuff, but let's see if you get it. Dude, I'm so glad that I had Multilate as a skill card. I didn't have any good drafts on this prestige run. And the worst part here is I have to take one. Oh... I mean, until now it looks really decent, like the energy gain that you get throughout focus attack and through the random enchant is pretty decent. I mean, if you have gear and you have crit and a lot of crit in the end game, like, it feels like you don't run out of energy, which is perfectly for this build, so you could basically spend Moonsolate non-stop. I just don't want to talk about it. I really just don't want to talk about this one. Yeah, I'm just going through, like, the, the trash mobs here on Outland are so pretty easy. Like, you can't really test your, your builds here. Like, every single mob getting one-shotted here. 
23 minutes left on the potion of experience. I think we can do this. Okay, I'm waiting for the NPC to spawn to actually kill them and get their loot to start the quest. But I think a lot of people are doing already this route here to quest if they do solar stuff. And there we go, Colin Frostweaver. Oh, nice. Again, rock bite. Oh my. Okay, we are 70 and I'm really disappointed. I kind of wish I could just prestige again, but let's just move on to the hand of fate section and let's hope for the best because we kind of need envenom we need a lot of attack power boosts and stuff but let's see if we can get it the only thing that i was lucky with is actually the prestige dungeon quest so i can turn this one in for 5000 marks of ascension which means i can get a lot more hand of fates than now okay we got 37 hand of fate cards which is really nice let's see if we can get every single skill that we need throughout the 37 hand of fates otherwise we have to spend 14,000 marks of ascension on this one i'm gonna do now our hand of fate series so you can just watch what cards i have uh, some of you wanted to see this uh, but also if you don't want to see this you can just easily skip on the timeline Okay, and Venom. I got the skill that I wanted. Skills like Berserker Stance, Aspect of the Beast, True Shot Aura, stuff like which will increase your attack power. Sure, those are really, really important and they're gonna decide if your build performs really well. But on the other hand, I just wanna showcase this build in total to you guys. I kind of think this has a lot of potential, even after the Deep Wound nerf. But still, this can perform really well. But uh, for that build to play, I need two daggers. Let's buy some from the auction house. Okay, let's come to the fun part. Let's talk a little bit more about the gear I'm using, the random enchants I have, and the talents I've choose to play festering wands. You already see that I have a 1.4 dagger in the main hand, enchant of deadly poison, and a 1.8 dagger, enchant of instant poison in the offhand. That's how you're gonna play festering wands. The slower dagger weapon in the offhand, and the faster weapon in the main head you already see that i'm running strain gear kind of thing but agility gear might be better because crit is really mandatory at this build you live by critting you live by critting with your multi -late. those are the most important one not like actually raw power it's also really important but i kind of think like crit is really really important at this part and then you see like random enchants weapon expertise three times because i need the cap to get this i need three times of weapon expertise here then i got and venom this one well this one let my poisons deal five percent more damage when my target is bleeding and i got one point into deep ones but i'm gonna show you that later and then i got blade vortex and blade vortex is kind of like the important thing here if you comes to aoe situation like you have a blade flurry and your cooldown is like 20 seconds on blade flurry yeah like you can do this every single time on an aoe situation and that's really puggers because you're gonna do damage like that and then we got focus attack i kind of think maybe i should stack this up to three times because i kind of think like getting enough energy is the key here and uh, well i'm just using one times focus energy then i got puncturing once this will increase the multi-late crit by six percent two percent per stack and then i got improved poison and vile poison this will increase my poison damage then i'm running poison bomb i just wanted to try it out because it's kind of it's a new random enchant and i wanted to test it how it performs but i think to press this is a global too much in this build i don't know i may be lazy and i really don't know if you guys might run this uh, i don't think this is mandatory i kind of think natural strong which will give you 10 percent more increased nature damage and yes poison and and venom scales with nature damage i kind of think that could be better than poison bob and then of course fist ones let's talk a little bit about the skills i have here starting right away with one of the important one here this one is earth and moon and furor both are going to scale your nature damage by amount and like i said poison scales with nature damage and venom scales with nature damage and those are your main abilities that you're gonna use and then you already see they have one point into deep ones why because i live with that i only need to crit and i do 5% more damage with my poison throughout envenomed random enchants and then you see i got stuff like white poison here as well to 
get more rogue damage, to get more poison damage, same with improved poison. Then I got three times into find weakness because rogue abilities critical chance increased by 6% will live throughout crit and so on. And this might be also a really nice talent, dual white specialization. This will not only increase your hit chance with your spells and melee attacks, and this one will also increase your nature damage deep by 6% for 8 seconds. And that's buggers. So maybe some of you ask yourself why I took Seal of Wisdom. I'm not a hybrid class. I'm not working with spamming some magic spells which cost me mana or whatever. I just took Seal of Wisdom to not getting Oom while I press Stormstrike. Otherwise I have to invest 2 points to improve Stormstrike which lets me give a little bit of mana back. Well otherwise if you don't put 2 points into this one you get Oom so fast. And that's the reason why I'm running Seal of Wisdom. So I don't have to put 2 points into improved Stormstrike. So how are you gonna play this build? It's pretty simple, you just put your poisons on your weapons and very important here, if you didn't know that weapon enchants like Rockbiter or Wind Fury doesn't work together with poison. If you're in a fight you just simple build combo points to so spend it on slice and dice first and then you just spam multilate and you press storm strike on CD to get 20% more damage nature damage after you reach five stacks five combo points you simple press and venom and if you press and venom on the target you get a buff which will increase the chance to apply deadly poison by 10 percent and instant poison by 20 percent so try to not lose that buff so have it always on the track maybe do a weak aura for that one i have a weak aura especially for tracking my slice and dice buff if it's glowing i have to press slice and dice if not it's on my track i'm running cut off the chase talent which will refresh my slice and dice duration to 20 seconds when I'm using a finisher move and and venom is a finisher move so what are my thoughts on this random enchant it's a pretty good random enchant and I can recommend it to you if you like playing with poisons and daggers and stuff like that I kind of wish I played this random enchant the time where it was really good but never mind we play it and tried other builds which is fine as well so the playstyle feels good to play you don't have to press much you don't have to care about a lot of buffs yeah some buffs for sure but nothing you couldn't work with a weak aura here the weak aura for the slice and dice you can find it in my discord and many other builds as well so just join the link is in the info box as well or you want to maybe try a different build maybe you want something for farming in high risk or pvp in general then click on that video and don't forget to subscribe and like